Alright, so Kevin, well, let me tech you. And in today's video, we are going to go over changing our infrastructure, and we're going to leave off where we left off at on the previous video with the same Azure code. Now, um, I did go ahead and comment out creating the VM since that takes a little bit of time if we were to make some changes to it to destroy and rebuild. So I'm just going to make changes to things that. Um, you know, uh, in, in part of our, the uh, virtual network that I created. So this is gonna be a real quick video. So basically, uh, there are things that you can change that don't require a full destroy of the resource. And a lot of that's determined on what you're changing. So if you're changing like the resource name, that's something that, can, that will initiate a destroy of your resources. If you're changing something in be, inside of uh, the actual resource block itself, it really depends on the provider in what it actually says in the um, documentation. So if I pull up Azure's documentation and let's look at resource group. So as we can see, name, the name should be used for the research group. Changing, the, changing this forces a new research group to be created. So that will destroy the research group, anything inside of it. So that's something you may not want to change. And then so, or you might want to keep the name or you, you could potentially just copy this and create another one um, and so on and so forth. So let's look at Azure Virtual Network. Azure, well, let's just type in Virtual Network. And under resources, we have, or under network resource, Azure virtual network. So resource group, uh, let's look at name again here. So name required, the name of the virtual network, changing this forces a new resource to be created. Uh, let's look at anything else. So the name of the resource group in which to create the virtual network, changing this forces a new resource to be created. So anything you change, you want to make sure that you um, it's not going to destroy anything. Now, there are things that you could potentially turn off and on, like say, hey, a DDoS protection plan that's optional or uh, maybe a list of IP addresses and DNS or enabling something uh, that's maybe not required. So those things uh, are kind of a by case basis. So. If I do a Terraform um, plan now, it should basically come back that there's no changes that are gonna be needed. But if I go in and let's say I wanna change this called this virtual network, which if we look inside my example resources here, my main network, it's currently called main network and as you can see, it's you know kind of already set in there. But, so no changes to the infrastructure. So if I change this name here and save it, and I run another Terraform plan, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show what's gonna be destroyed and then what's gonna be created here inside of our plan. And that's the great thing about doing the plan first and not just going directly to the Terraform apply because then you can see if you did make some to particular typo, it also will tell you in here what forces a replacement. So name being changed forces replacement and then the virtual network will be replaced. So two to add, two to destroy. So the subnet's getting deleted because that subnet is what's referenced by the virtual network name. And so that we will do a Terraform apply. And then I already know that I want to make this change. So you can actually also do the auto approve um, argument. And then you don't have to do the yes at the end. I don't recommend that in a uh, production network. Um, you may do it in like some type of continuous integration method but I usually tend to like just doing the apply, I mean the uh, plan and then the apply and then approving it just to double check to make sure that I didn't actually overlook anything. So as we can see, this is going to destroy and rename those two features. Uh, so that's just the gist of, you know, making changes to 
the um, infrastructure and then seeing from the output what's going to be replaced. And it looks like we got a deleting subnet in order to delete, delete. Okay. So it says subnet internal is in use by subscription resource example providers network interfaces Nick. So it's saying that this is actually being utilized by uh, the network interface here. So the problem we run into sometimes with Terraform is it doesn't understand what needs to be removed first. So it's just trying to delete everything. So what I'm going to do is actually comment this out. Um, let's go ahead and toggle the line block. Save that. Or, well, actually, I should have did the, the plan again, but the, the apply should take take effect unless it actually is going to go by the previous Terraform plan. Let's see what happens here. Um, it's going to actually destroy the NIC. Um, which I don't need now because I don't have my VM, so it's kind of a mute point here. So let's see if it actually can destroy that without throwing the air again. So we'll look here, we can see that it's uh, destroying the network interface. So then that's actually going to take it off of the subnet. And then you can see it's still destroying. And then if we go back to the portal, we can typically probably see some of these things actually start to get out of there. So if I do a refresh, or if I try to go to it, and it's still destroying. So, well, that's gonna take its course there. So basically that's just the, the uh, gist of uh, changing infrastructure. You wanna make sure that you always check with the provider that you're working with and making sure that anything that you're changing doesn't affect other resources that depend on it and that you understand that when you do change those things, you will be deleting not only the resources, but potentially data that how that is housed inside of those resources. Again, if you have any questions in regards to this video, drop me a comment down below. Um, next, we'll be getting into some of the other things as far as managing Terraform in the remote state. So again, tune into the next video. Again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.